The closet shelves are stocked with the odds and ends of a saintly life. In other words, nothing Gabriel is familiar with. I can't resist black. You never know when a priest's collar will come in handy. Gabriel stands at the door of an old French Quarter residence. The neighborhood is a little shabby, but this particular building is freshly painted. All right, but this is private. Things I do for my art. Yes, who is it? It's Father McLaughlin to see you. Father McLaughlin, you say? Hmm. You must be new in the parish. I'm so pleased to meet you, Father. Do come in. Thank you, my child. Please be seated, Father. Thank you. Now, what can I do for you? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions, my child? Of course not, mon père. What can you tell me about voodoo? Ah, people think I'm just a foolish old woman, but I know the things they do. My family's been in New Orleans since 1750, so I know more than most. Voodoo people are all over this city, in the shops, everywhere. They'll curse you like that, and most people don't even notice. Spit on your bread at the bakery, take strands of your hair at the store when you try on the clothes. But I know their ways, so I can protect myself. I know how to use the magic too, and I can counteract their evil spells. Tell me more about voodoo in New Orleans. It's just plain evil. It's dangerous to even discuss it. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Voodoo murders? Ha! They are nothing new to me, father. They happen all the time. I hardly go out anymore. It's too dangerous in the streets. They can get you anywhere, you know. Even here in this room. But I try not to let them know about me. That's the best way. What can you tell me about New Orleans? The only true New Orleanians are of French origin, you know. My family were among the original settlers of New Orleans. They came here from France. The Creole society used to be so gay in New Orleans. Now it barely hangs on by its fingernails. What can you tell me about New Orleans? You know, I can stroll the streets of the French Quarter and see in my mind's eye the way it used to be. 
It was wonderful in the old days. Do you know anything about snakes? Snakes? They're evil creatures. Did you know that evil people can send them into your dreams? They can. That's why I never sleep. Right. Thanks. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? St. John's Eve? May we? I used to love the St. John's Eve Mass at St. Louis Cathedral. Of course, it is also a night of great wickedness. Worse than All Hallows Eve. They will corrupt anything for them. They? They who? Oh, you know. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? I don't think I should say any more about that. Do you have any idea what Cabri Saint Cor means? <laughs> Mais oui, I know. I bet you do not, Father, Nespa. It means goat without horns. But, Father, you surprise me. You do know what it means. You know what they mean by goat without horns, don't you? A human being? That's right. Slit your throat, cut out your heart. Pure evil murder. Tell me more about Marie Laveau. She was only a front for the real evildoers, father. And that's the truth about Marie Laveau. Do you know anything about black voodoo? Oh yes, father. It is the wickedest kind. The kind they practice here in New Orleans. Do you know anything about human sacrifice here in New Orleans? But the real voodoo queens did it. Oh, yes. Who were the real voodoo queens? Uh, well, my great-grandmother told me that Lavo was just a front, a flamboyant decoy. She distracted authorities from the real voodoo queen of Norians. It's been the same one for almost 200 years. She's head of a secret voodoo on four. That's what they call the temples, you know. It's so secret, most of the voodoo people in the city don't even know about it. The real voodoo queen controlled Lavo, gave her a little bit of power, and used her like a puppet. Do you mind if I ask you a few more questions, madame? If you wish, father. Tell me more about this secret voodoo hound fool. Well, I've never seen it. I wouldn't go near it if you paid me. But it's here in Orleans, I guarantee it. I hear the drums at night, oh yes. That's why I am so ill. I tell you. Those drums. But we shouldn't talk about it. They hear us. It's the devil's work that happens there. I can tell you. I'll show you something. Something secret. You mustn't tell anyone, father. I swear on my collar. Here it is, mon père. A true object of evil if there ever was one. It radiates something, all right. It belonged to my great-grandmother. She told my mother that it was a token to gain entrance to the real voodoo ceremonies. You don't say. To tell you the truth, 
I always felt nervous about having it in the house. You know, evil influence and all. Oh, I can see how you would, yes. And yet, I could never part with it. It's been in the family for generations. Would you bless it for me, father? I feel strange asking such a thing of you, but surely you understand. Bless this bracelet of a snake, even though its vibes aren't great. Let Gabriel has a thought about the clay. Bless, oh bless this circlet of silver. Take the curse, oh take it, Wilbur. A lovely blessing, mon père. Yes, I think it made a lasting impression. Here you go. Gabriel cannot open the front hall. He only needs to walk there. Well, madame, I must be gone. Of course, father. I know how busy you must be tending your flock. I'm not going back on the street looking like this.